You have to understand the war on drugs has never been about drugs. America's public enemy number one is drug abuse. What will you do when someone offers you drugs? <laughs> We intend to end the drug menace and to eliminate this dark, evil enemy within. Put them away. Put them away where they Three belong. Three strikes and you are out. Somebody down the road said drugs are bad. Okay, there's no argument there. But think about where we are 30 years later. I do what I have to do. I know how to survive. Yeah, I got some weed, too. Don't let them run. Against drugs is heating up. I think they should have wrote prison guard on my forehead when I was born because it just fits me. I say he's a criminal. Let him go to prison. I have a life and 30 year sentence. 20 years for drug trafficking. I have life without parole for three ounces of methamphetamine. Of the 2,600 people I've sent to federal prison, I've seen three or four kingpins. We're incarcerated poor people who are drug addicts. You're watching poor, uneducated people be fed into a machine like meat to make sausage. Law enforcement agencies get rewarded in cash for the sheer numbers of drug arrests. That money's ours now. That's my money now. The scale is unbelievable. Nobody jails their population at the rate that we do. All sorts of people get a financial interest. Taser gun manufacturers, healthcare providers, phone companies. You build a bed, they fill the bed. And you'll get rich, and we'll get rich, and we'll all be rich together. in a great experiment. What happens when you take large numbers of people, remove them from their neighborhoods, their families? What y'all getting them for? What does this do to the broader community? The drug war is a holocaust in slow motion. This is a war on all Americans. I think people keep saying, well, that's about them. Well, no, it's about you.